This video is brought to you by Sailrite. If you've got a basket with a fabric liner, it's easy to change the fabric liner to any color to match the decor of your room. In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is. Angela from the Sailrite Loft is going to show us how it's done. We're going to replace this green fabric with a floral fabric that we purchased from Sailrite. In order to pattern the correct size of fabric, you need to draw out on paper the sides of the basket. Our basket has four sides and a bottom, so we have a short side, two of them, and two long sides and one bottom plate. Now that we've written down the sides that will be required to make our basket liner, we can start to take measurements. We'll measure here at the top edge, not including the handle, from side to side. Looks like it's about eight and a quarter inches. We'll write that down on our paper. Next, we'll measure the height following the angle of the basket. After you've measured each one of the sides and wrote down on paper what those measurements are, we can begin to pattern our fabric. But before we do that, we need to add some seam allowance and also for the fold over that will wrap around the top of the basket. From the measurements that you took off your basket, you'll need to add the half inch for seam allowance where it's indicated on this diagram. We'll be wrapping about two inches of fabric around the top of the basket to come over the sides. You can change that measurement if you like, but two inches is basically standard. Here Angela is calculating for the seam allowance and also for that two inch fold over around the top. Once your calculations are complete, we can begin to pattern the fabric. We've added the seam allowance and we've also added for the fold over. Let's get started and show you how to pattern. We've chosen this fabric which will match a cushion exactly. It's the same fabric that the cushion was made from. That's what's so exciting about being able to make your own basket liner. On the back side of the fabric, Angela is measuring and marking the fabric to nest the five panels required for our basket in a manner which utilizes the best cloth usage. As you can see, it does not take much fabric to make a basket liner. On the back side of the fabric, we're also going to mark the location for the two inch fold over on the side panels. So here Angela is measuring those rectangles that she created, measuring down two inches, then she'll strike a line at that location as well. That helps us to determine the top side of each one of these plates. Now the bottom plate doesn't have this. So there it is, marked on all four of the side plates. The sides of our basket come down at an angle. We've made a rectangle on the fabric. Now at the bottom edge, we're going to find the center location and measure that distance. And that way we can draw straight lines down to that location that will match the contour of the basket. She's marked the center of this side panel. Then she takes the width measurement for that edge, divides it by two, and then measures over from the center mark and strikes a mark on each side. Now from the two inch mark that we struck down on this plate, we'll take a straight edge from there all the way down to that mark and strike a straight line down. This is the angled side of the basket. We'll do that for each one of the side panels. To avoid confusion after this is done, be sure to mark out the center a uh, line that's straight because we will not cut on that line. We'll be cutting on those angled lines. The two long side panels are done. Now we just have to do that same procedure to the two short side panels. The bottom is just a rectangle. This fabric is a cotton blended fabric, so it has a little bit of a cotton in it, but we're still going to use a, the Sarite Edge Hot Knife to cut the fabric. That way it seals the edge. Typically, we don't use a hot knife with cotton fabrics, but with synthetic fabrics, you definitely should. That'll keep the edges from unraveling. For our basket, this is what the five plates look like, and this is how they'll fit onto the basket. Now all we need to do is sew them up and our basket liner will be complete. We'll show you that next. Angela is organizing the plates. This is how they'll be sewn together. So she'll take the short side and the long side 
and then have the outside surfaces face each other. She'll take him to the sewing machine and show sew a straight stitch about a six millimeter long straight stitch a quarter inch in from the edge of the fabric. Be sure to reverse at the beginning and also reverse at the end of your sewing. Now she's going to grab another long side of the panel and she'll sew it to the short side of this panel. So there's the long side and she'll have it so the outside surfaces are facing each other. These panels have that line that was struck down two inches from the edge so you can use that as a reference to be sure the correct edge is lined up. And again sew it in the same manner that you sewed the first two together. Now we'll take that last short side panel and we'll sew it to these three panels. So we're going to sew it onto the long side panel so the outside surfaces are facing each other. Now all the side panels, those four plates, have been sewn to each other. Now we'll sew the bottom in place just as Angela is doing here. She's going to start here at the bottom of this short side match up the edge and then start at the corner but she will not start directly at the corner she's gonna start probably a half inch away from the corner because she'll need to join that up when she comes around the entire bottom so a half inch away she starts sewing then when she gets to the corner she will bury her needle she's a little bit far because she wants to be about a quarter inch so she's gonna actually advance the needle so that it's in the fabric a quarter inch from this edge She'll pull the bottom plate around so the edges line up with each other while the needle is buried. She'll lower her foot and continue to sew. Here the foot got stuck on the fabric so she lifts her foot or actually pulls the fabric to get it through. And then she'll come to the next corner and follow that same procedure yet again. She'll bury the needle about a quarter inch from the edge of the fabric there. Lift her foot, roll the fabric around lower the foot and then continue to sew down the edge. Just do this all the way around that plate. This is the last side that needs to be sewn together and here she's coming to where she began sewing. Almost there. She'll do some reversing there about a half inch away from that corner and then she'll sew up the one side that is not yet sewn then she'll go back and finish up that corner. First we'll sew this side together. So she matches it up, takes it to the sewing machine and sews it together. And once that's sewn together, now we'll sew up that small little corner that's been left open. As you can see, the sewing of a basket liner is quite easy. The patterning that we did previously is probably the most difficult part, taking the measurements and then patterning it on the fabric. But that's not too difficult either. We'll be creating a hem around the top edge, but before we do that, let's turn the basket liner right side out and inspect it to make sure that we've sewn it exactly how we want it. If we need to make modifications, we can do that before we create the hem. Our basket looks good, so we've turned it wrong side out yet again, and now we'll create a quarter inch hem around the top edge of the liner. Angela is folding the fabric back about a quarter inch or a half inch 
and now she creates a stitch that is very close to the folded edge of the fabric, reversing at the beginning, and then she'll sew all around the basket liner. Let's go ahead and move on. The final step is to create slits for the handles. So Angela's going to take the liner, insert it into the basket, and determine where those slits should be made, or I should say the length of the slit. So she folds it over the edges and then determines here that this is where the handle is, but she needs to go all the way to the edge of the wooden handle for this basket. So she'll mark the fabric at that location. Here you can see that two inch line that we struck onto the fabric. We did use a Sharpie marker. Typically you would not use a Sharpie marker for fabrics, but this fabric, it was almost impossible to mark the underside of the fabric with anything but. So here at this edge, we'll mark it. That's where the slit needs to start, and here it needs to end. We'll do that for the other side as well. Once that's done, we'll take the fabric out of the basket. Then we'll take it over and cut those slits. Uh, we're just going to cut a single slit, and then we're going to hem the slit. We're going to use the Sayerite Edge Hot Knife, and we are cutting on top of a ruler to prevent damage to the tabletop beneath. Once it's slit, we'll take it to the sewing machine and we'll fold the material or the edge of that slit back about a quarter inch. We'll start here at one of the sides of the slit, do some reversing, sew all the way to the opposite side of the slit, and we'll bury our needle, uh, turn to do the bottom portion as well, folding that back a quarter inch, and sew all the way to where we began. You'll notice that at this corner, Angela actually lifts her foot and does some rearranging of the fabric so that she can take the next portion of the slit and create the quarter inch hem. There we go. She does some reversing there and sews all the way to the other side and reverse there as well. So be sure to reverse at each one of the stop positions. And that's all there is to creating a slit for the handle. You'll do that to this side and also repeat it on the opposite side for our basket. Looks good. Now we'll turn our fabric so the wrong side is facing out, which means the uh, good side will be uh, on the inside of the basket. So we actually see the good side of the fabric though we've obviously referred to that as the outside during the entire video shoot. And it will fit tightly around the handles, that's expected and typically best. That's all there is to making a basket liner. There are hundreds of fabric selections that you can make at the Sayerite website. If you're doing any type of upholstery project and you have a basket that holds magazines or other goods, you may want to consider making a basket liner to match the coordinating upholstery projects in your room. Thanks, Angela. And now here's the materials list of the items and tools that were used to build this basket liner. We've chosen to use a Braymore fabric from Sayerite, but there are hundreds of other fabrics that are available at the Sayerite website. For more free videos like this, be sure to check out the Sayerite website or subscribe to the Sayerite YouTube channel today. It's your loyal patronage to Sayerite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.